Where they go, Hobbs and Briscoe pretty even off the start line, but now Hobbs gets the edge. Briscoe chasing it down at the moment, but it's going to be Aaliyah Hobbs once again. The world leader takes the women's 60 metres title in 7.02. There's Heather McLean. She's one of the favourites for this race. As these athletes set off then on their eight laps over 1,600 metres in the women's mile. Now the challenge coming down the back from Lucia Stafford who said she wants to be concentrating on the 800 metres, maybe maximum 1,500 metres. Here she is really testing Heather McLean. Lucia Stafford into the straight. McLean tries to come again. Stafford tying up, and McLean will time it to perfection. Gets there in the end, ahead of Stafford. 4.23.42, it is a new lifetime best for Heather McLean. So the centre lane's packed. Holloway in four, Roberts in five, Cunningham in six. Men's 60 metre hurdles, Holloway. Nine years unbeaten. Start Away first time. Holloway, one of the first to rise. Roberts out. Hussard him. Cunningham not getting going at all. Holloway from Roberts and Crittenden. That's the one, two, three. Seven, thirty-eight. The winning time in the end for Grant Holloway. The possibility of challenging the fastest time that's ever been posted over this event. For that lady, Femke Boll. Standing starts. Here we go. First event at the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix. 500 metres. The pace at 400 metres to be on for that world best needs to be around about 52. But Boll from the outside looking to make that early break. Remember that world best time is 66.31, which has stood for 17 years. Keep an eye on that clock then, Boll, on her season debut, coming in her first ever event at the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix to take the roof off the track at the New Balance. 66.31 is that time to look for, and she's done it, and done it by a long way. What a start to the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix. A 17-year-old world best mark tumbles to the ever-improving, the Dutch star, Femke Boll. I'm excited for this final, Jenny. It should be an absolute corker, shouldn't it? Bromel got a better start than Lyles, that's for sure. On the inside, Kemp got away well as well. But as we see, Noah Lyles start to come through. That's very close. Bromel got away better. Noah Lyles coming through with momentum. He has got it. 6.51. A new lifetime best for Noah Lyles. Four hundredths of a second off it. And once again, Noah Lyles backs it up with the numbers. That is a huge win and a huge, huge step forward for Noah Lyles.